I am so glad y'all are here for today's video. It is going to be a very special one, but today we are hunting with my dad, LFD. He's one of my best friends in life, and he is just a super great person. I'm gonna spend the first minute or so here bragging on my dad because he's on his way here and uh, he won't let me do it when he gets here. This is sort of a dream I've had for a while uh, is to take my dad deer hunting. I know that sounds kind of weird because normally it's the other way around, but when I was young, my dad took me deer hunting, but he never hunted himself. He knew I was into it and he's into it as well, but he always put me before himself, so he's never harvested a white-tailed deer at all. And I've been out here at the hunting lease and uh, been scoping out a lot of deer and there's this cold buck seven pointer that I've passed up just hoping we would get the opportunity for my dad to come out here and be able to hunt that deer. So I hope it all comes together, but we're just counting our blessings here. I'm blessed to still have my dad in my life right now as I'm getting older. And this is a special opportunity for us to, where we can still go out and hunt together. You know, him physically uh, start to get older. Sorry, dad, I know you're watching this right now, but there's only so many years you have with your parents. This is just gonna be a special opportunity. First thing we gotta do is get my dad on the rifle. This is the other special part of this story today is this is my grandfather's rifle. He has passed away, but when he did, he passed this down to my dad and I, and my dad has uh, given it to me, and I've hunted with it, took a really nice deer last year with it. It's a 30 odd six, and uh, it's old. It's from the 70s, but it still shoots great. Not past 100 yards, it's not very accurate past 100 yards, but uh, we've got it set up for dear old dad, and I think it would be just real, just go ahead and, and pre-smash the like button for my, my dad's my dad's dad's rifle, we're hunting with it, getting my dad's first buck. It woo -wee, woo! Might shed a tear on this one, y'all. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a tasty one. <laughs> huh? No, we're, gonna, we're gonna go after that long one. Oh, you're kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. You've never shot a deer. Never. We got your dad's old rifle. You know, I shot that uh, rifle 30 something years ago. Oh, you did? I that, shot that exact rifle? That exact rifle, but I hadn't shot it since then. And of course, uh, you know, my mother gave it to you in his honor. And uh, I'm excited about it. I really am. But I'm rusty, 30 years rusty. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make, there's a little, little gong down there, a little steel target. You'll hear it when it hits. Right. If you can hit that, because that's about 10 inches or so, you can kill a deer. 100%. wonder if I can hit it. If you can't hit it, <laughs> we, we may have to hold you steady, man. We may have to hold you steady on, but uh, I think he's going to hit it first try. But let's get Dad on the table, make sure he's hitting, and then we're going to actually review some video real quick before we go out there and kind of kind of look at some deer, just so you don't get buck fever. So I don't get buck fever. <sighs> Dad, progressive lenses and all. Oh, no, Sun's just starting to come out for you, man. Should have good visibility now. Okay, do you see the, the left little small circular target? I do. Okay, that's the one I want you to center up on and get real steady and then do a slow squeeze. Uh, this is 30-06, y'all, so this thing kicks like an absolute mule. It is hard not to flinch, I'm not going to lie, um, but my dad's a big guy, big strong guy. He shouldn't have any, any problem here. Okay, if you're on and you want to give it a slow squeeze, just whenever you feel comfortable. Smoked it. Center. Punched it. He's that thing's a, thing's a cannon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a cannon. I know, but it's it's on at 100 yards. We can walk down there. You can see it just to feel confident about it. Armadillo. <laughs> but, uh, oh, there's an armadillo walking around? Yeah, only in Texas. I'll show you where you hit it, and then we'll go look at some photos. But I don't, I don't, think, you, I don't think you need to shoot anymore, man. That was perfect. I don't either. That's a long shot. For this me. this is actually going to be a little bit longer than where we're going to be sitting tonight. Uh, we're probably about 80, 90 yards. So, oh yeah, that 30 out six, ping that oh, thing good. Wow. I mean, you were just like an inch left, but in my mind, that's that's dead center, and that's 
I mean, that thing packed an absolute punch. You can see these other marks from other rifles, and that thing actually took out some of the steel. So, if that bullet gets anywhere close to where you just hit, it's an absolute dropping deer. I'm happy for it. Yeah. I am really happy with it. So, that. not only did you smoke it first try, now you got a little confidence. So, to build your confidence up even more, let's go take a look at the actual deer you're going to be hunting tonight. Oh, cool. Let's go. Okay, come on over here, Pop. So, I've got actual video footage of the deer. That's a 10 point. Wow. So that's one of the deer we might see. What a beautiful deer. Oh, what's that? Might be your seven right there. So, this is uh this is a really young or not a really young he's a nice 10 point we just let him we just want to let him grow another year he's going to be a really awesome deer you know i've only seen one deer when i was in a stand and that'll uh that was the one that <laughs> the one that got away the one i got yeah i got nervous on well you're at least going to see some deer here this is him right here so he's got a a big fork over here. See how he's yeah, big right fork? He's split three on one side, four on the other. There he is. I'm gonna play that back so you can watch him again. 6 6.40 a.m. There he is. He's an early riser. That's not him. <laughs> yeah, there's another deer we might see. Pigs. There he is. See him there? It's a good shot of him. He's, that fork time is huge. Yeah, it is. He's really wide. He's an awesome cold deer. Look, turkeys. So, that's him right there. Good deal. I can't wait to see him in person. <laughs> now, are you going to get nervous? <laughs> I'm not going to get nervous. I'm not going to get nervous. I will not get buck fever. I'll concentrate on the shot, and then I'll celebrate. You know, I, hadn't, I have never killed a deer. We didn't have many where, where I grew up, hardly any at all. So, you know, we did dove hunting, quail hunting, hog hunting, stuff like that. And when you got older, you know, I focused on trying to help you get involved in the sports. And, and uh, I've I already just, bragged on you doing that for the first five minutes of the video. Yeah, so I just I carried a camera <laughs> at that point. But... Uh, I am really excited. I'm in my 60s and I can't wait to, you know, get my first Oh, look at him right there, Dad. Oh, yeah. He's he's real wide. Look, he's doing a scrape right there. Mm. So that's... Yeah, he'll be coming back. Okay. Let's go get him. Let's get him. Yes. not funny <laughs> uh, you got some style points I mean you were pretty precise honestly for not having a mirror there's a mirror on the back of that if you want to check yourself grab the rifle and uh, make sure your safety's on and all that good to go okay let's head in Settled. Uh, there's no reason to rush. 
especially when we have another morning to hunt and conditions look really good for tomorrow too. It's gonna be less windy, but still a good wind. So um, tomorrow looks amazing, but if we can get it done early and have a few celebration brewskis, tonight, sounds cool. It'd be good times. Uh, this, this stand, this, this blind has been pretty hot, so I think we'll see something.
slow walking each other. Are you committing to sticking this out and maybe not getting a deer on this trip? Yes. Yes, you are. I'm committed. Okay. But if he walks around one more time. <laughs> Awfully tough. Yeah. He's made four circles around us. And he's just making scrapes and he's sniffing and he's snorting. great night's sleep sleeping in the trucks it's in the 30s right now but calm it is dead calm um, the wind is gonna be like literally a couple just you know one to three miles an hour out of the north um, so we're gonna sneak into this blind it's about 520 in the morning right now we're gonna try to get in uh, before 6 a.m. I've got pictures of old big seven coming in real early uh, literally like 5 6 a.m. So I'm not gonna be surprised if he's already kind of lurking in the area <clears throat> and with this light we're gonna have to definitely sneak in but we left all of our stuff in the blind last night so I hope we made a good decision passing up that that eight last night but I think no matter what we're gonna see some deer this morning it's gonna be another fun sip my dad's gonna learn a lot and hopefully big old seven comes out man come on Let's go, man. Ready. Right now, we're about 10 minutes until legal light. We've got uh, four deer out in the field. I don't know if the seven is out there. I'm not sure yet. I know for sure there's one mature buck that is out there, and this guy's been coming in super early. So I have a hunch that he's out there right now and it is killing me that uh, we just can't see it. I can see bodies in the pinos, but I can't see antlers. So if it's him, we're going to take him. So any good cold buck that comes out today, we're taking him. But hopefully it's lucky number seven.
father and son. Yeah. You're, 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 you're having the experience of your dad killing his first deer. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. 
Where did you put it? I put it right in that crease where you don't right in the crease. Okay. Uh, you know, I squeezed easy. I... You feel good about it? I do. Okay. I I thought I saw an impact just through the the lens, and uh, but you never, you never know, guys. It's it's deer hunting, so I saw him run at least 80, 90 yards. So we're gonna have some work to do to try to find him, but. Dad's old 30 on six. His dad's this gun. The bullets on this thing are insane. I would have thought that they would probably have dead. Maybe I didn't need it exactly. You should feel awesome about that deer. That was a great, great buck. I, f I feel good when we see him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now it's, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm literally, I'm shaking like, like my adrenaline is gone. How long do you normally wait? We're going to wait about 20 minutes. That wind is really calm, so it's actually supposed to shift today about 10 to 11, and then we wouldn't be able to hunt here. Guys, that, that deer right there that's walking off, he's going to be an absolute trophy next year, and he's going to be doing some good breeding this year uninterrupted at the feeder now, thanks to pop here Un uninterrupted by the seven point yep so it always feels good like you caught catching the, the big fish in the area the dominant fish you know that's the dominant buck that uh we just took down well we we're hoping it's down yeah so uh, now that that buck's gone we can get out of here let's go see yeah the feeder and then start looking for that blood. I see your buck. Oh, you're kidding? I see your buck. Where is he? We got lucky. We came in in a good spot. He's <sighs> down. He's down. He's close. I'm going to let you find him. Where is he? Just start looking around. <laughs> I just, I just saw him. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, I got him. I didn't run. I wasn't sure the way he ran off. Go, oh. go on up there. As far as we thought. Wow. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. 16, uh, 61 years. I ain't shot that gun in 30 years. Oh, look at that. Man, you made, look, a, look, you made a great shot. Look how gray he is. Yeah. He's the old dominant boy. He's starting to get that kind of rounded <sighs> muzzle and you know, he's just got this weird looking huge horn right here. He's got decent mass. You can see where he's been rubbing on everything. Just beautiful. Beautiful, man. Look at that little, he's got a little nipple on that tongue. Yeah, right yeah I don't there. think I even saw that. Okay. What a cool, unique deer, Dad. I'm so glad we waited. <laughs> I hope too. Wow. And you've waited a long time to get your first buck, so congratulations, man. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without my your fatherly help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, man, we got to put him on the cleaning rack. we got some good meat. You're going to eat good. Yeah. Beautiful deer, man. Yeah. It really is. Especially here in the cactus. Texas sunrise. Y'all, this is a special day. You better smash that like button. There's the rifle. 
Pass down. Yep. Three Rackleys. And there's your first buck dad. First ever. I, I never could put you on deer. But, you know, you put yourself on deer. <laughs> but you wind up putting me on one <laughs> later on. So. Well, the, uh, the most important thing is when I got into hunting, um, you took the time to go and seek out places I could go hunting. You know, how can I get my son in the outdoors? Did the same thing with fishing. You know, we both started fishing. Right. Really, you got me into fishing and then, then the hunting thing. And uh, I just think it's so cool that now, you know, 30 years later, <laughs> um, now we're sitting here with your first buck. It's incredible. You know, I was nervous. And uh, I was nervous. I shot him, and he ran off. I wasn't sure that he, you know, went down. And well, 71 yards. So he didn't run very far. You know that that 30 out six is just a, a heavy hitter. He's quartering away. So where you hit him right there, that bullet's actually moving more towards his uh, shoulder, yeah. coming out the backside. So um, made a great shot and lunged him, and he didn't go very far. And what a unique deer, man with a unique seven point cull buck. I, I literally saw it on the first time I came out here, just scoping out deer, checking things out. And I'm like, man, that's such a cool deer. Uh, and I was like, that'd be awesome if I could get LFD out here. Oh yeah. Yeah, you texted me a one. picture of him two yeah. weeks ago, three yeah, weeks I did. ago. Kind of get you excited. And I was like, yeah. man, come on out, come on out. And uh, we turned down that eight point last night to get to this guy. Right, that was, a ri that was a risky, kind of deal, um, but I thought it was cool that we could sit there and watch the deer yeah. learn. We literally got to see rut behavior going on, and you know, if we didn't shoot anything today, we'd still have a great time, you know, watching all the deer, and so it was just an awesome, two awesome sits, and an awesome ending, obviously, but oh, yeah. you ought to be proud of that deer right there, Dad. Well, I'm very proud of it, I'm happy about it, and you know, it took me a long time. I hadn't shot this gun in 31 years. <laughs> That's so, so cool. uh, you know, it's it's good times. Thank you. So awesome. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to this special episode today. If you don't smash the like button, something's wrong with you. Today's video sponsored by dads <laughs> everywhere. Thank you, dads, for getting your, your children into the outdoors. You know, it's pretty cool. Come full circle here. So you guys stay tuned. Uh, we're going to be doing some more stuff out here at the lease. There's and, a deer uh, right behind us. There is literally a spike <laughs> 20 yards. I'm I'm not kidding you. I think you got it on film. <laughs> <laughs> he was literally walked through the frame, I think. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Good luck on your next outdoor adventure, and we'll see you soon. I think he walked through the frame. <laughs>